Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to configure Active Directory authentication for the vCenter. In this lab, I am basically going to integrate vCenter with the Active Directory. Let's have some idea about my lab environment. In my lab environment, I have basically two Windows machines. First one is Win2K8 R2 DC01. This is basically my Active Directory server where I have installed Active Directory and DNS both roles and the my second server is vcenter srv01 this is basically my vcenter server in this server I have installed all the four roles that is vcenter single sign on vspare web client vcenter inventory service and last one is vcenter server let's have a look on my servers this is my Active Directory server you can verify in the roles I have installed Active Directory Domain Service and the DNS service. I have given 2 GB RAM to this server and the host name is Win2K8 R2 DC01. Let's have an idea about the my second server vCenter SRV01. This is my second server. I have given 4 GB RAM to this server and if you want to see what features of the vCenter I have installed you can verify from here vCenter single sign on vCenter inventory service vCenter server and the vSpare client and the vSpare web client in my this demo I have two EXI host first one is EXI server 01 and second one is EXI server 02 I have given 3 GB RAM to both EXI host this one is my EXI host 01 you can verify from here and for the second this is my second EXI host you can see I have logged in in my both EXI host by using vSpare client this one is my EXI host 01 and this one is my EXI host 02 and so for the adding or integrating the Windows Active Directory user account in vCenter we need to go to vSpare web client so I am just typing my path for the vSpare web client the the path is basically HTTPS localhost means the vCenter server and the and a colon then the port number slash vSpare client it's giving the security certificate yes, so no problem we can proceed anyway here we are we have to put the credential for the VSPR web client authenticating oops maybe wrong password let's try one more time
so let's pass the authentication now it's initializing the vCenter server it will take few minutes or few seconds depending on the speed of the network and your vCenter server so this is the web client login screen home page I have added my both EXI host in the vCenter so we need to go vCenter and here you can verify I have added both my host in vCenter so I'm going to use vCenter server and I'm going to provide credential for Windows Server user account that is my user account server admin let's verify if we don't have a permission for the vCenter access by using the my domain account or Windows account what RMSs we are getting I'm just copying the full name of my server this is the full name of my server and I'm just pasting here and I am using use windows session credential and I'm clicking on login let's see here you can see you do not have permission to log in this server so it means my user account server admin that is created in Active Directory have no permission to access vCenter server so I am going to give this user account a permission for the accessing the vCenter as a administrator account so let's try I have logged in with the uh, vSphere web client and I am going to my vCenter server and here is my vCenter server that is vcenter srv01 victorinfosol.com so I am going to manage this server and permissions I am going to add user account add permission plus button and I am going to select administrator user rights administrator users have all the permission for the vcenter and uh, everything like exi host and everything so I'm going to add a user account add here is my vSphere local victor infosol and the local host machine so I'm going to add user account of the my active directory so I'm going to select vector infosol my domain control domain and I'm going to put here my user account name server admin you can verify this is my user account I'm going to click on search here is my user account I'm just double clicking it's got auto filled by the double click and I am clicking on ok ok so it's working on it and here we are we have added the server admin user account in my vCenter as a administrator role so let's check it's working or not I am going to click use windows session credential let's sort of fill my return for source less user account name so I am clicking on login button it's loading inventory discovery plugins it means it's working fine we have added successfully server admin user account in vSphere as administrator rule so here we are it's working on a, as a free and here my you can verify this is my data center both are my exi host 
okay it means we have successfully added the user account thank you for watching if you have any question any suggestion please let me know on my email ids please subscribe for more videos thank you once again